Welcome back, everyone. It is Valentine's Day here in the United States and dozens of countries the world over. For many, it is a time to express their love for a spouse or partner or even an opportunity to start up a new romance. And that comes with presents, chiefly among them chocolate. But that sign of affection may be a little more costly this year thanks to the cocoa bean. Isabella Diaz explains exactly why. For many consumers, chocolate is a go-to gift that's sure to please for any special occasion. But this Valentine's Day, shoppers may see a few more dollars added to those chocolate hearts and kisses. And that's because the cost of cocoa is anything but sweet these days. In fact, it's tough to swallow. Cocoa prices are more than double what they were last year. Just last week, cocoa futures prices surged to an all-time high of $5,874 per metric ton. So why the price jump? It all comes down to cocoa farming and weather. More specifically, El Nino. The climate pattern causes unusually warm temperatures in parts of the Pacific Ocean near the equator, which can lead to extreme weather conditions the world over. This year's historically strong Super El Nino has led to significantly warmer and drier conditions in West Africa, which produces 70% of the world's cocoa beans. For farmers in Ghana and the Ivory Coast, that means less fertile land for crops and a smaller cocoa bean harvest. And that leads to fewer, but more expensive, cocoa beans to go around. Chocolate companies are feeling their profits melt away with the rising costs. That includes the company behind those chocolate kisses you see with most Valentines, Hershey's. Hershey's CEO says the company's earnings growth will be relatively flat this year, thanks to the rising costs of cocoa and even sugar. As for price hikes on consumers, the chocolate maker says they're an option if they help manage the growing costs being put on the company. But sticker shock or not, analysts don't think it'll have too big of an impact when you shop for your sweetheart this year. The National Retail Federation says U.S. consumers will spend nearly $26 billion total this Valentine's Day. Isabella Diaz, CGTN. Now, despite all of that, chocolate's global market value is on the rise, according to a new study by Global Market Insights. The chocolate market is expected to exceed $161 billion in 2032. It, 2023, rather. It stood at just over $120 billion last year. The biggest drivers behind the projected growth are a push for sustainability and ethical sourcing. That includes investments in sustainable farming and collaborations with groups such as Fair Trade. A lot to talk about here. Let's uh, bring in uh, for more in the state of uh, cocoa in the chocolate industry. We're now joined by Monica Rogan, co-founder and chocolate maker at Good Now Farms Chocolate. Monica, thanks so much. I'm sure a big day for you. Are you breathing a sigh of relief that this has now kind of come and gone? Hi, this is a big day. Well, I'm not only breathing a sigh of relief, I'm also eating a little bit of chocolate myself. <laughs> Send some our ways. Um, now, the biggest cocoa producers in the world, uh, you have to think about the west coast of Africa. Why has that uh, area been such a fertile area? And I've actually read a lot about this over the past year, uh, a lot of allegations that many of those cocoa growers were simply taken advantage of for such a long time. So it's good to see that fair trade is stepping in there. But now the weather comes in with like a one-two punch. Yeah, it's been really hard for them. Uh, for commodity cacao, over 70% is grown in West Africa. So Ghana, Ivory Coast, Cameroon, Nigeria. Um, and it's really hard because, you know, cacao trees were brought over there by Europeans hundreds of years ago and they were just planted. There's no, um, there's no drip lines. Like people are just, you know, the elements are coming and they have to deal with what they have and it's really difficult for them. So it's, it's been really hard for farmers with the, the weather patterns as of late. So um, let's talk about what the weather pattern is actually doing. And also to me, it's kind of fascinating that the market is surging. If you look at the way the graph goes up, I mean, it dramatically shoots up over the past year. Yeah, yeah. Demand for chocolate is is getting higher and higher. Uh, people, you know, it's it's delicious. They love how it tastes, uh -huh. um, and the weather has really impacted the supply of cacao. So it's 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 going to be a tough one for for chocolate lovers as time goes on. Now, did any of these chocolate makers are are they able to sort of stock the cacao uh, bean? Are they able to do anything like that, or are they really going to be at the mercy of the weather and also the resources? 
Sure. Well, cacao is an, it's an agricultural product, so you can only grow so much in every year, and it you can only you know keep it for so long. <laughs> right, right. So you know the farmers grow it, and chocolate makers like like myself and others, we we buy the pro the product, and we make what we can with it. You can stock up for a little bit, but you can't stock up for too long. So it you know you really want your freshest quality product. You use that to make the best quality chocolate that you can. Um, so. Yeah, you're going to be experiencing some changes as the years come by. Now let's talk a bit about the chocolate companies versus the cacao farmers. We're actually seeing some video of them hacking the, uh, I don't know what you would call it, what the beans are in, the, 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 the vessel, pod. if you will, pod. Yeah, uh, and, yeah, and if you look at those, they're kind of slimy and really don't taste good. Uh, what makes chocolate taste so good? And talk about the pressures that have been on these farmers. Sure, sure. Uh, well, a lot of people don't realize, but chocolate comes from a fruit. And these fruit pods grow on trees around the equator, and you have to cut them down from the trees, cut them open, and then pull out the seeds, the beans that are that are enclosed by that fruit. You take those beans and you ferment them to make a delicious chocolate product. What does it what makes it taste so good? Um, gosh, cacao fruit, the comp the, the beans are some of the most chemically complex, um, you know, foods that we have mm. and all the processes that go into it with the farmers in the field when they farm it and they ferment it and the care they put into it. And then the chocolate makers like us, when we get to our kitchen and how we roast the beans, how we, um, you know, crush them up and we, we, we develop flavor profiles and the high quality ingredients we add, all of those things really impact the end quality product. And talk about fair trade and the cacao cost and chocolate prices. What is it doing right now? And how is that impacting the continent of Africa? Sure. I think fair trade is a great step in the right direction. You know, uh, fair trade really talks about being transparent, understanding where the cacao comes from, which is a huge step that not all commodity cacao can do. Um, the next step, though, is to really um, pay farmers a lot more for what they they produce. So fair trade prices, it's great. There's a fair, fair trade price minimum cacao farmers are paid. Um, and that's set every five years, and then they get a bonus based on that. Mm. So that's more money for them coming in, which is fantastic. They have better quality of life. But even better than that is when the cacao farmers actually make more for the quality of the cacao that they're producing, right, and right. they have a higher profit share. Real quickly, what's the impact on this Valentine's Day? And what can we expect from the big chocolate companies? Are we going to see a big bump in price? Oh my gosh, this Valentine's Day. Well, I hope everyone is happy eating delicious chocolate with ones that they love. <laughs> and I think that you will see prices increase. Um, this is an agricultural product that's being affected by circumstances that continue to change and prices will go up. Okay, Monica Rogan, um, I'm gonna tell everybody I'm eating fruits now next time I take a big uh, chocolate bar. But thank you so much for your time and happy Valentine's Day to you and I hope it's a booming business. Happy Valentine's Day.